All right, so let's take a look at how to uh, create a tessellation that is a little bit more complicated, right? We're going to start with a square. I'm going to show you how to create how I created this this Pegasus right here. Uh, that was I basically took it from uh, M. C. Escher, the great the great Dutch artist. So uh, let's take a look, right? We start with a square, and we change that side right there, right? Just use our our little scribble tool there and change it. Copy and paste it and translate it to the top. And I change that side and I copied and pasted it and translated it down there. I right, change that with my scribble tool, copied and pasted it over here. You can see there's the wing. Change that, copy paste over here. Change that, copy paste over here. Right? All we're doing when we're copying and pasting, we're just translating or sliding it over to the opposite side. So I changed all that, right? And I got rid of the square, and I added in all of my details. Now this is, uh, you know, something I did completely with uh, PowerPoint, and it came out pretty great, I think. All right, so there's my my Pegasus, right? And then what I did next was I took that and I kind of shrunk it down a little bit, and using my computer I just copied and pasted it over the entire poster uh, this step you'll actually use a, a cardstock stencil to uh, literally trace it over your 18 by 24 poster so you start there right you can kinda like start wherever you want to and then you just sorta move it and make sure everything interlocks move it make sure the head interlocks right underneath there and everything should fit really really nicely and I'll go a little bit faster here. You can see over your entire poster, you've got that same shape. And even once you reach uh, sort of the edge of the, the poster, you still want to continue to copy it and draw as much as you can because that's what really makes it look, look like a really complete poster. Uh, just because you can't fit a whole stencil there doesn't mean you shouldn't get as much as you can. All right, and I'll just finish the poster like this, right? And then. Once you're finished with this, you know, you're going to go back and outline anything you need to outline an emphasis and emphasize something with maybe a Sharpie or something like that and then uh, color everything in and make it look really great.